So all you need today for this painting that we're going to do is your uh, primary colors of red, yellow, and blue, and some green and brown and some white, and you can put some black on there too um, if you want. These have really nice bristles and they're great for your trees and your bushes, and this is going to be used for your background, okay? And then we have a flat synthetic brush, chiseled edge, and I have a flat um, a filbert brush, which is a chiseled edge and synthetic. And I also have a liner brush. This is a photo that I got from Pixabay. Um, it's a free photo you can use. So I'm going to use that one, it's so pretty. These are paints that I'm going to try today. I haven't tried these yet, they're Artist Loft. They're new ones that I bought, so I just thought I'd give them a try today. Usually I use Liquidex, but um, I like to try different brands just to see which ones I like the best, and then I can pass on the information to you. This is my 11 by 14 canvas. Uh, you can have any size you want. Get off my tissue and pick up some of my green. I'm just going to put a dark green. I'm just going to use the pure phalo blue green, I mean. Because that will be an underpainting for, for what's going on top. So there we go. Now we have that on and we're going to start adding some grasses on top of that. Some so in order parts. to get those long grasses, I'm going to use my liner brush. You can call it a rigger brush. A rigger brush, a liner brush, they're long. They have long hairs on them. And what I'm going to do is I have some magic white. Made my own magic white. And I'm going to use that to help me move those grasses. And they also will lighten them up a little bit because it's magic white. And it's not my name, it's a name that Bill Alexander had uh, named his magic white for his oils, but this is for acrylics. I just made up my own for acrylics. And I have a link in the description on how to make your own magic white. It'll be called magic white or liquid white, as Bob Ross called it. So um, I could put a new name on it for myself, but it's just really for acrylics instead of oils. And I just made up my own uh, ingredients, what I thought would work, because I don't know what their ingredients are. But it works for me, so all right. So I'm just putting some magic white on my brush, and I'm going to add some of that uh, phalo green that lighten it up a little bit, give it a nice um, blending time. And I'm going to add some yellow, okay, so brighten it up even more. And then I'm going to start putting in some grasses in the background here. So just see, you just pull them up. And if they won't move, just get some more paint and some more Magic White. If you don't have Magic White, just use a bit of water. That'll get them to move too. Alright. So take some white on top of that brush and let's do some flowers, just some in, indica indication of flowers, just a few there, here and there, just touch with white paint and just touch it and move it around like little circles, it's all just white, okay, just touch and move around a little bit just so you can get a few flowers up there. Maybe some small ones. Okay, so maybe some yellow ones. Just yellow. Okay, just touch, touch. Don't forget now we're going to be smoothing that out so we can look like a blurred background. So I'm going to take 
our blending brush, our fluffy brush. And we will take this and we will blur all this out, okay? So I'm going to, let me see, let me see. I'm just going to move the touch around that one there. So it looks blurred. But just little taps. Tap. There we go. Tap, tap, tap. See how it's blurring up on you? Got a little blurry background there. All right, so let's continue on with our grass. And I'm not, let's try and do this freehand. It's, um, it's a round jug. I'll show you the picture. And now we will, we want to have it probably here. And we'll probably, don't draw anything yet, just come down to where you want to end this. Okay, and where we want to have, so we'll say that's that, and then we will have our little handle coming out here. So, two little eyes and a mouth, and that should help you. Now, you make any shape you want, all right? I'm just going to eyeball the picture, and I'm going to come out a little bit here, and come out a lot here. It doesn't have the exact shape, don't worry about it, for now. And we will come down here like this. There's going to be flowers in there, so that will be fine. And then you come down again in. Let's make this side about the same. In. And then out. It's kind of different, isn't it? I like that. And we'll put a handle on it. So it's in the picture, so it might look nice. It looks nice in the picture. Might as well give it a shot. Come on down here. And there's an inside part there. When you get in here, it gets a little bigger, a little wider. It gets, and it comes down in here, and it stays about the same width. So that's kind of nice. When you paint that in, then it'll be fine. So we'll put all grass around that, but first, why don't we paint this black just so we can see where it is. Now that's where we can use our filbert brush, see? So whip that with your brush and pick up some black. We got Mars black here, okay? So I'm just picking up my black from here. And we'll just paint it in. We'll worry about the, high, um, the highlights after, but we'll just paint in to get the shape and to so we can work around it with the grass. Now, these are different steps. These are steps that I'm taking, and uh, it's one way to do it. You can put on your vase first and paint around it, which is a little more difficult, a little more frustrating, because you can't work around it. Um, we're working around it with the grass, because uh, it's nice to get something on there to see which way you want to put your grass. And you might get bored with putting all those little streaks of grass on. You'll be there for hours and you might say, oh my gosh. So you can take another part of the painting and start playing with that in order to, so it won't be too monotonous for you. Right, so you can do any any way that suits you. Just know, do it this way and do it that way. You know, 
you don't have to. You just do it whatever way you're, you're happy and comfortable with it. I'm finding this paint really nice and thick. Goes out really well. I may have some of this in my uh, Amazon shop. I'll make sure there's some there in case you decide you want to buy it on Amazon. So you can go to my link. That way I will get a little more support from my channel. I get a little fee, sometimes 25 cents, sometimes <laughs> dollar if I'm lucky. Sometimes, you know, anywhere from 10 cents to because the products that I'm putting up are not like thousands of dollars each to they're affordable and they're things that I recommend that's what you can see me using this here there are some things I didn't use but I checked them out and checked out the reviews okay trying to get a shape I want. It's not exactly the shape that's in the pit in the picture, but I kinda of want to do my own shape, you know? I don't want to go exactly by the those lines are we can wipe them out after after it's dry. Alright. I think that's a nice little shape. When we get the highlights on look really nice. Now you can fix up anything that looks like it needs fixing. That's why sometimes pattern helps. It helps you get shapes without having to spend hours trying to get the shape. But this is not too hard. And it's good to do this every now and then so you can decide, you know, what shape you want. It's okay. That's good. So let's continue on with the grass. I'm going to switch brushes now. I want you to experiment. This is a good way to experiment. I'm going to experiment with my bristle brush. This is a synthetic one. The bristle one wouldn't work for this because it'd be too, you, you wouldn't be able to get the nice straight line or the nice grassy technique. But um, yeah, I want to try this. And you can also try a flat brush, you know, a completely chiseled edge flat brush. Okay, so I'm going to try this one here. And I'm going to, because I might get more grass out of it. I'm going to do the same things I did before. Add water. And I'm going to use the vertical. And that's nice. You can also pull up like this. You know, just trying to get these little grasses in here. So try different brushes just to see. Try, you know, different brushes see what you're going to get. So you get nice grasses there. You can't get them as thin. Maybe a little more difficult to get nice thin grasses. The, the liner brush is best for that. But this is good for just, you know, putting on grass like that and then lifting up. And the flat brush, flat chiseled edge brush, can also get some nice grasses. And it's a little faster with the flat brush. See? So you get, you know, all different sizes. Grass, all kinds of different sizes. Now, if you don't want to work around your jug, you can go and put the jug on after when you get all the grass done. But that means you worked in this area. It's probably spent an hour putting on grass and you're going to cover it up. So that's why I did it that way, okay? So I just wanted to save some time.
dress on there. It's not finished. We This is just a, like a layer so that we can add more layers on top. The more layers, the better. So I want to throw in some flowers here. Let's just take a small filbert. You can put in whatever flowers you want. I'm just going to throw in some nice little daisies. So first of all, I'm going to take some yellow. So just take the back of your brush, dip it into some red and some yellow. All right, just a bit of red there, a little bit of yellow. And let's make some places that you want to put your daisies. Maybe one here, maybe one here, maybe here, here. Some yellow around that. There we go. And let's see, let's see, maybe there's some up here. You can use a brush for that if you want. Like I say, it depends on where you want your daisies. These are your daisies. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take my little filbert brush. I'm just going to take some white. Just going to bring in the little petals just for now. And we'll put some skinnier ones in between there. So we'll just do one here, make it easy for you. Just do one here, one here, one here, and one here. And that'll just be a guide, okay? So at the spots, you know where the daisies go. Maybe some of them only have one side. All right. So we'll see. Got to get a start somewhere. It makes it so easy, so much more easy for you when you got something to work with okay you're trying to figure out where things go so with these days you should get a small flat brush we already use the uh, or if you have a smaller filbert brush and we'll use the um, this is the heavy body white up here and this is a uh, liquid X and I find both of them really nice to work with so now you can put your petals in between see touch and pull in all right, there we go, see? And then we'll put on some, whatever color, you can use red, purple flowers. I'm just gonna use what's in the picture, which is a, a purplish color. some white in it to highlight it. So I like to put um, centers in those also before I do anything. So I'm just going to put a blue center in there for now just so I can figure out where I want those flowers. Where, where, where? Wherever you want your flowers, just make it, make it, it's like making a, a dot, just so you know where they are. And those flowers are kind of, got a nice, wide. Nice, wide petals. And they're separated. Now, I'll be adding more color to those.
have some more daisies here. Okay, I'm going to get a damp brush and I'm going to take that uh, the chalk off. Now we're in the very early stages of Let's painting. take... Um, small flat or filbert, synthetic, and pick up some blue, I'm sorry, take a small filbert and pick up some white. Now, it's okay if it's a little bit dirty. And just leave it on the edge of your brush there. And we will scrape some of that across where we want the highlights. I'm going to wipe a little bit of that off. I think it's a little bit too much. I don't want... I'd rather start with a little than a lot. I'm just going to see how that... Now my paint is...
to make some stems going towards that little center. That, that really helps that little center, those. Pretty, pretty. I'd like to have some more grass. Layer some more grass. Some yellows. If you want the thicker ones, you just push a little harder. If you want them really thin, you just let up on your brush and have lots of wet water on your brush. See that little tiny one, that skinny one there? See? The thicker ones, I'm pushing a little harder. And sometimes it just happens I don't mean to. <laughs> just doing what it wants to do sometimes. The more layers of grass, the nicer it is. I'm going to work on the flowers. So we got the center. So I got a smaller brush. Small browns, and I am going to take some of my yellow. Make that center better. And I'll need a darker color and around it, so that around here. Looks like it needs more yellow. So just put a little shadow underneath it there, just to trim it out.
You can make your own brown or you can use some burnt. Change to another brush and just see if we can get those petals a little bigger on some of those. Let's see. I'm just going to turn it the flat side and bring in some of these bigger petals.
and take a little bit of red and yellow and just put a little center in here. Center and pull it out just to give it some stems. I add a little bit of white to bring it out a bit. Just trying to put a few little stems there, but it doesn't want it. I'll leave a break them off, you'll be able to see them better. There's a little red flower there. You want flowers everywhere. Flowers in, in the flowers and the flowers. Some highlights on those little red ones. Whatever you want to do, just tap at it, play with it. Doesn't Take matter. some some colors and just tap on a few little as if there's some flowers down here, small ones down in the grass. Like that. I'm just using my liner brush and I'm just tapping, pulling up some different color paints, whatever's on my palette. I'm just dragging through different colors. I can move my brush from color to color and pick it up. And then I'm just taking the brush and just touch like that, see? Just touch. Just touch in between the grass. Maybe some blue. Really like blue, you know. A bit of white added to it. Add a little bit of white. White gives a really nice effect. Just touch, push in a little bit. Touch, push in a little bit, get bigger ones. Touch, touch. Touch in different colors, we'll get all the colors be. you like this and I hope it inspires you and I will uh, do another painting for you soon. So happy painting everybody and I'll see you in the next video.